And bloody hell, what have I come back home to? I just popped out to get some munch. I decided to walk around my area, have a bit of a walk. I decided to listen to the new Eminem album. Then I was eating a burger outside one of these benches near where I live. Then I was listening to the Eminem album. Then I ended up on YouTube and I was watching loads of car videos. I was watching loads of videos on people um, restoring or, you know, modding and doing up Nissan Skylines. I was watching videos of people redoing um, Porsche 911s, watching videos of people modding and redoing loads of other cars that I want to get maybe in the future, like a Ford Sierra, like a Suzuki, like a Honda, all these amazing cars. Just just going on a bit of a deep dive because the YouTube algorithm is quite good. Once you watch one thing that you like, they usually recommend you loads of other things that you do like. So I ended up doing that for an hour. Then I'm just chilling on my phone. I decided to like open Twitter. And the first thing I see is somebody tried to kill Trump. <laughs> Holy shit. And it happened like an hour ago. I had no idea. I was just doing my thing. I was like, what? And then I watched the video and it legitimately looks like whoever tried to shoot him tried to headshot him, but they missed by like millimeters. Because he does, because I've seen, you know, I've, I've spent too much time on very dark websites. Websites where people get blown up, websites where people get shot. And I'm used to seeing the reaction that people have when they get shot. That kind of like, especially when something misses, it's almost like a fly touched you or something. Or your, your brain hasn't processed what's happening. So he did that thing that I've seen people do where they get shot and it's a near hit. And they're like, they're like this, they waff, you know, they kind of like touched them. What happened there? And then by the time he realizes what's going on, he got, I think the bullet came again, but he already had moved out of the way. But big up his security detail. <laughs> big up his security detail because I'm so annoyed. I remember seeing an assassination of this. I think he was Hungarian. It happened recently. Uh, maybe he was Hungarian. I think Hungarian. Uh, the Hungarian prime minister. He was shaking people's hands, walking around outside, and some guy basically um, shot him at close range. But the security were terrible. They all kind of dispersed. This one is how your actual security are meant to work for you or are meant to help you in a situation. As soon as the first shot happened, they all jumped on him, literally piled on top of him, covering him with, these, with their own bodies, basically like human meat shields. I was like, finally, some fucking, this is what, again, that kind of job is not for the faint-hearted. I would never do that type of job. Don't get me wrong. I'm not giving my life up for any president. Don't care how much I love my country. But it was nice to see people who are about that life. They immediately jumped on him. The moment it was clear, they all started scanning and trying to see where they could locate the shooter. They immediately started scanning. And oh my God, bro. Oh my God. Let's not, let's not bury the lead. Let's not bury the lead, people. Trump might be the most metal president of all time. Say what you want about the guy. He might be the most badass president I've seen in my entire life. This guy nearly got assassinated on TV. And the moment he gets his bearings, he stands up and puts his fist in the air, covered in blood. Come on, man. Come on, you got to give it to the guy. If you can't give it to him now, when are you ever going to give it to him? This is some fucking villain shit. This is some superhero shit. This is some movie shit. Look at that, bro. With the American flag flying behind him. Are you for real? I just honestly, I know you guys probably know about this already. I know you guys know about this already, but I've just got back home. People, I've just got back home. I was outside eating burgers and stuff on a bench on my phone, listening to the new Eminem album. I had no idea this happened until I walked back inside. I had no idea this happened. So please excuse my excitement and my shock at what's happened. But this might be one of the most badass metal pictures i've ever seen yeah exactly young old vibes i was on my big back thing i was on my big I, I'm, I'm kind of a bit still hungry now actually i'm actually a little bit hungry now but we'll deal with that later but i was on my big back thing and i come back and i see the real big dime girl gang huh the real g and by the way in case you were wondering he's won the presidency in case you were wondering, this man is your next president, my fellow Americans. You know it, right? You've got one guy who's basically calling Zelensky Putin. 
You've got one guy who's calling Zelensky Putin, and then you've got this guy getting shot at while he's at a rally, still delirious probably, getting his bearings, has the gumption and the mind to know you always make good of a tragedy. Try a situation, you always have to be on. His brain is always on. So while he's lying there, trying to figure out what's happening, looking at his face, touching his face, worried and all that, somehow his brain realizes it's Hollywood, baby. It's show business, baby. It's entertainment, baby. <laughs> and he gets like, what the fuck, bro? If this isn't planned, if this is real, if this is not a fucking psyop, if this is not planted, if this is not a drill, if this is not a skit, if this is not a bit, if this is legit, this might be legitimately one of the most metal presidents we've ever seen in the entire world. And allegedly, I've just checked my Twitter. I don't know who this person is, but somebody called Andrew McCarthy says, Trump is going to be at the UFC tonight. Come on, bruv. Somebody called Andrew McCarthy on Twitter. A McCarthy NY has said that Trump is going to be at the UFC. Do you know how that stadium is going to erupt when he walks in? Bro, they might as well play the fucking Stone Cold fucking theme song when he walks in. They might as well play the fucking Stone Cold theme song when he walks in. Yo, are you insane? He's going to come in with his bloody shirt into the UFC, rolled up sleeves, no tie on. Like what? Who wants it? Who wants it? Oh my God. Yo, is that it? <laughs> Yo, this is some wrestling shit, man. Honestly, I feel so bad for Democrats. I feel so bad for Democrats. I feel so bad for Democrats. They've been trying to fucking patch up Biden. They've been trying to seal up all these cracks. Tape him, chewing gum, blue tack, huh? Tipex, scotch tape, welding. They've tried everything to fucking put Biden together and keep him alive. IV drips every night, pull back his face, lobotomy, put a new brain in him. Maybe got a trial version of Neuralink and put that in his brain. They've tried everything. And this happens off the back of him having moments where he's like literally not there and calling Zelensky Putin. The next day, Trump is getting shot at and still standing up and saying, I'm going to do my job for the American people. I'm going to do my job. <laughs> mega, mega. <laughs> yo, yo. You know that suit he wore when he got assassinated is going to go for money now, right? That suit he wore when, he got, when the temptation happened is going to go off for auction. He's probably going to sell that hat that he wore. The hat that protected from bullets. <laughs> They're going to mark it as this hat can stop a bullet. <laughs> this MAGA hat can stop a bullet. They're going to promote it as a MAGA hat stops bullets. Yo. Honestly, I swear I am shocked. I'm sorry, guys. I know this is pathetic of me. I know that. I'm not the most politically, um, you know, knowledgeable person in the world. And I've just come back in from having a bit of dinner and real and turning on my fucking social media feed and seeing a bloody Trump triumphantly standing just after he got, you know, someone tried to assassinate him. Allegedly, the killer is dead in it. Sorry, the shooter is dead. Allegedly, the shooter died. Um, they're saying Antifa. We'll read some stuff anyway. Let's read some stuff on here. This is courtesy of Sky News. We'll go through other bits as well. Sky News, Trump is safe and Secret Service released a statement. A Secret Service spokesman said an incident occurred on the evening of 13th of July at the Trump rally in Pennsylvania. The Secret Service has implemented protective measures and the former president is safe. This is now an active Secret Service investigation. Further information will be released when available. Um, Martha King, the shocking and somber to see this happen, presidential candidate. The only sad thing about this, the only sad thing about this is that allegedly an audience member died. I don't know if they mean the audience member was a shooter or if it's a separate person, but allegedly somebody in the audience passed away. That's really fucking sad, man. That is really fucking tragic. I'm hoping they mean the shooter and not just some random person there. 
that was supporting Trump or whatever. I hope that isn't the case, but they did say like a, a, a person um, died, unfortunately. But God almighty, look at that fucking picture. Are we for real? Look at that picture. Damn. Uh, let's continue. More pictures of him coming from the, like obviously covered in blood, spitting feathers, angry. He's at the fucking pulpit. I wonder, oh, the only bad thing though, I wonder what he's going to say when he comes out. I wonder what he's going to say when he comes out. Do you think he's going to blame the Democrats? Because this is going to be some random psycho. Do you think he's going to like use it as opportunity to like blame the Democrats and suggest that they try to assassinate him? Kamala Harris put a hit on him. <laughs> Kamala put a hit on him. Biden was fed up and put a hit on him. Hillary Clinton put a hit on him. Oh, man. the div I'm just realized the division in America is going to be real now, isn't it? The division is going to be real because there's going to be some Democrats who are not going to take this well and they're not going to be great. I'm not saying graceful, but they're not going to be respectful. They're going to be like, oh, he should have died type of thing. It's going to drive a lot of division in it. I just realized it somberly, you know, as, you know, as, as nice, as great as it is that he's alive and he's not dead, it's going to drive division, you know, and it's just going to be worse. Fuck. One person believed to be dead. Uh, Farage hits out of the media. Nigel Farage never missed an opportunity to stick his nose in. The fucking wine-covered cunt. Fuck you, Nigel Farage. Mainstream media have spread a narrative that of hatred against my friend Donald Trump. I hope they are proud of themselves. Oh my God. We're doing it already. How's it the media's fault? Come on, bro. Come on. Let's be real. Let's be real. If somebody wants to assassinate Trump, it's because of what Trump said. Not that it's justified. That doesn't give you a reason to assassinate a president. But no one's assassinating him because the media's... Come on, man. Nigel Farage, why in your fucking neck in, brother? Oh, come on. The guy isn't even washed yet. His face hasn't even been washed yet. His clothes haven't been cleaned yet. He hasn't even had a... He hasn't even got an have a Come on, man. Fuck you, Nigel Farage. Get fucked, bro. Hope you fucking... <clears throat> Trump fine and being checked out. <laughs> okay, cool. Continuing on. Chuck Schumer, I am horrified at what happened at a Trump rally in Pennsylvania and believe that former president is safe. Political violence has no place in our country. But if he would have died, let's be real, Democrats would be celebrating now. If he would have died, Democrats would be, be celebrating. They would be posting fucking young and ace memes. They'd be posting young and ace memes. You know they would be. You know. My thoughts and prayers are with former President Trump, says Hakeem Jeffries. I'm thankful the divisive law enforcement, oh, oh sorry, divisive, decisive law enforcement um, response. America is a democracy, political violence of any kind. Oh, why they always, they always got the same sentence. Political violence, uh, political, <laughs> okay, cool. Growing concerns, this was assassination attempt. What do you mean growing concerns? Honestly, the media is weird, isn't it? What do you mean growing concerns? Did you not watch the fucking video about growing concerns? Here's the fucking video. Did you not watch it? That's not growing concerns. That was an assassination attempt. Look, growing concerns. Well, then if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. <laughs> what do you call that about growing concerns? Growing concerns. <laughs> doing? Doing? Growing concerns, you know. That was an assassination attempt. Growing concerns. By the way, big up the fucking scumbag photo of journalist. They got the good picture though, but big up the scumbag photographers. Absolute balls of steel, but they're still scumbags. Look at how quickly they rushed in to get pictures. Look at how quickly they rushed in. Look at them. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Fair play. Absolute ball hags, absolute cretins. So fair play the balls on that. The balls on those photographers to jump in. Look at that. <laughs> Trump gets shot and now I'm trending. <laughs> okay, fair play. Fair play. 
That is fucking hilarious. Come on, man. Let's call a spade a spade. That shit fucking funny, man. That shit muy, muy, muy funny. Let's not even lie. That shit is fucking funny. That's what he needs to come. That's what he needs to come on when he walks into the UFC. Many men. Many, 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 many men. Wish death on me. Oh! Yo! If I walk into the UFC like that. Oh my God. If I walk into the UFC like that. Many men. Many, 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 many men. Wish death on me. Yo! That would be sick. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if he walks into the UFC like that? Oh my God. Go back to Sky's news. Big up 50. Growing concerns. Growing concerns. <laughs> that phrase is so insulting. That was a... Anyway, whatever. I'm not going to continue on. Um, there's actually another video too, right? There's also another video. Uh, Trump shot on stage. Oh my God. Big up... Big up his security detail, by the way. Big up his security detail. Big up his security detail. Big up his Aryan race security detail. Big up Trump's Aryan race security detail. With the fucking skin fades and the glasses. No ramp, no play. They jumped on him, bro. Boom. Put their bodies on that guy. Nah, you're not taking out Donny. You're not taking out Papa Trump, man. With that, that's their boy. They will fucking ride or die, the security detail. Even there was a woman. Even a woman was ride or die. She was like, nah, 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 nah. You don't take out Donnie like that. Oh my God, you hear him say it. He's conscious. He's aware. It wasn't a mistake. You hear him say, wait, 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 wait. In the moments, just after he just nearly got shot, he nearly got headshotted, Call of Duty style. He's like, wait, 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 wait. Ah, fist in the air. Yo, Assad, yes, I understand, brother, that is a Secret Service job, but let's be real, we've seen some terrible Secret Service. Did you see that guy in Japan? Did he die? The guy that was shot with like a homemade gun. Look how close that guy got to him to shoot him with a gun. The thing I said recently happened in Europe. Secret Service was nowhere to be found. Did their job shitty. It's good to see Secret Service are actually good at what they do. They jumped on him straight away. They would put their bodies online. They weren't like scrambling, you know. <laughs> you know? No, they weren't worried about whether or not they're going to get home to their family. Brother, your Secret Service, you signed up to DIE if it all goes to hell. You, you need to be the last man standing. You know what I mean? When the hordes come out the gates. Yeah. Japan ain't America. Yo, you can say that again, brother. You can say that again, brother. Japan ain't America. This guy in Japan, I think he's killed the prime minister with like a homemade gun. Like he made, like, like a home, literally a homemade gun. Super crass. <laughs> I don't think you could get away with that in America. If you, if you try to hit someone with a homemade gun, you might get your whole head blown off. So yeah, Japan, Japan definitely in America. Um... Benjamin Net in Yahoo, get it? Big up, yay. Sarah and I were shocked at the president preparing attack on the president. We pray for the safety and speed recovery. Oof. He's probably thinking, bro, am I next? Am I next? Wow. So I wonder what happened. What's the theory currently? What's the theory? It was a headshot and the guy just missed because Trump moved or something. What's the theory? So that was a bullet grazing his ear. What do we think? Was it? What's the theory in the stream chat? So, it, so sorry. One, not, let me let me retract my uh, terminology. Technically, if a bullet grazes you, that's still getting shot, isn't it? That's still counts as being shot. That's not a uh, because when I think somebody gets shot, I think of bullet piercing skin. That's why when I think of a sh oh, you got shot. But I think technically, if somebody if a bullet grazes your skin and it doesn't actually go through and penetrate, that still counts as a, you're, you're getting shot. But that looks like the bullet grazed his ear. So maybe the person was aiming for the head. Maybe when he turned, they kind of missed it, and it went, choo, you know? <laughs> Who says done count? <laughs> Brian. Brian, you're going to hell. Brian. Brian Luro. 
You are going to hell. Don't count. <laughs> Don't count. <laughs> oh my god. Big up Uche's on the chat. Well gone. Don't count, you know. <laughs> That's not an assassination. Don't count. Oh, <laughs> don't count. Oh. Okay, big up, big up Koyla with the fucking terminology. He shot from outside of security zone. Person probably didn't dial in wind. Oh, American sniper thing, innit? You got to like, you know, bullet trajectory, wind, all that shit. Hard to do, to be fair. Yeah, exactly, Teflon done. Shooter and another person, yeah, K-I, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm so sad for the person in the audience. It's probably an audience member, I'd imagine, probably. That's the only really sad bit about this whole story. Tragic, you're going to a rally and then you get shot. That's that's inexcusable. Shooter dead, audience member killed. Fuck you, know. US correspondent marks this extraordinary event. Biden informed of shooting, being briefed. Did Trump make a statement? Oh, no, that's don't, that's that's his son. He'll never stop fighting to save America, Donald Trump Jr. Nancy Pelosi, as ones whose family have been... Oh, come on. Fuck off, Nancy. Fuck off. Making it all about yourself. As one whose family has been a victim of political violence. Yo, the former president nearly got shot in the head. And you're talking about the time somebody came in and tried to fucking blackmail your husband for alleged gay porn. What are you talking about, bruh? Shut up. As one whose family has been a victim of political violence, I know firsthand the political violence of any kind has no place in our society. I thank God that former Trump is President Trump is safe. Shut up. Shut up. Elon Musk donates sizable amount to Donald Trump back in political groups. Wow. Trump okay, Elon has gone. Is Elon gone fully in? I think he has, right? Elon's gone fully in, all chips in on fucking Trump. He like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm not. I'm not even hiding it anymore. He's Trump 2024. Wow. How much did he give? It's done. It's done. So, it's done irre irreversible damage, man, <laughs> to the Democrats' ability to win the next presidential election. They must be so annoyed, man. Not only is Biden legitimately an invalid, or you know very much struggling to kind of you know stay alive you've now got fucking trump surviving assassination attempts let's see here uh what do you say yeah last time america kind of this tough was, was roosevelt yeah there you go i already liked it i fully endorse president trump and hope for speedy recovery full endorsement from elon he's backing it straight away reed hoffman of the world Got their dearest wish, but then the martyr lived. The third Hoffman, what's this about? What's he talking about here? Is this Puck News? Why is he complaining about Puck News? Why is Elon sharing this article from Puck News? Oh my God, bro. What a crazy day. Legit, I had no idea this happened. Turn on my phone, check my socials. Bang, first thing I see, Trump is bloodied. Why is he bloodied? Why go on for this? Oh, come on, bro. Hurry up. Uh, this will help Trump's campaign. Of course, he's 100% president, bro. He's 100% president, Eli Winslow, unfortunately. Especially if you're not a fan of the guy, not a fan of his policies, you're not a fan of anything he does, unfortunately, he's going to be your next president over there in the States. That's almost guaranteed. Yo, big up, uh, who's that? I think Assad. Big up I Assad. liked Pres Andrew Jackson times. Yeah. <laughs> Let's duel. Collision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big up Assad. Big up Assad. Up a cheer. You know what I mean, though. You know what I mean. The circumstances around that home invasion, that burglary, that uh, fight are, you know, they are for debate as to what happened there. Lover's Tiff, somebody trying to steal an iPad. I don't know. Yeah, he was kind of badass, but let's not compare getting hit over the head with a hammer to being shot at while you're at a pulpit. Exposed target. He probably should have died. He didn't die. You know, let's, let's give the guy a little bit of uh, credit there, to be honest. Let's give the guy a bit of credit. I'm curious to see what this article is about. Why is, why is Elon posting this article from Puck? I didn't know he reads Puck. I'm curious to know what this is about. Maybe I have to load up my phone because the computer is being fucking annoying. All right, cool. I'll just load up my phone. I want to I wanna see what this is about. Um, Shooting being investigated, assassination attempt, as it should. 
Barack Obama says there's no place for political violence. Everyone's going to use the same thing. Political violence. There's fucking. Everyone's like copy and pasting their own state. There was the same statement, but in their own words. Although we don't yet know exactly what happened, we will all be relieved that former President Trump wasn't seriously hurt and use this moment to re to recommit ourselves to civility and respect in our politics. Cool. I'm praying for him, says Biden. President Biden says he's grateful that Trump is safe following the shooting. I've been briefed on the shooting at Trump's rally in Pennsylvania. I'm grateful to hear he's safe and doing well. I'm praying for him and his family. Yeah, right. And for all those who were there on the rally, Jill and I are grateful for the Secret Service for getting him to safety. There's no place for kind of violence in America. We must unite as one nation to condemn it. There you go. Watch the moment Trump hits the ground. Oh, here's a, from a witness. Let's see what, what the witness say. We've just been hearing on Sky News from an attendee. She says as follows. Um, she explained that the shots rang out and Secret Service agents rushed to the stage and shouted, clear right, clear left. They said, get him up. So they lifted him up and Trump said, I've got, uh, I've got to get my shoes on first. Yo, they shot him out of his shoes, you know. <laughs> the bullet that hit his ears shot him out of his shoes. That's a classic thing. If you listen to Public Freak Out, you will know. That's a classic thing, man. Whenever somebody gets hit, whenever somebody gets clattered, the, sh the first thing that comes up is the shoes. The shoes go flying. They shot him out of his shoes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but they shot him out of his shoes. They said, get him up. So they lift him up. I've got to get my shoes first, he said. The audience could not see that his shoes had come off, but they must have come off when they dropped him on the ground. And when he stood up, I see the red teardrop uh, right near his blood. I see the red teardrop right here of blood pouring from the right cheek. And then when they turned him, I could see a blood from the top of his ear to the bottom. It, was, it wasn't it was gushing, but it was covered. And then they put the fist bump and said, stay strong. And they walked him off. Yeah, sales of Trump hats are going to go through the roof now, bro. Downing Street released a statement. We don't give a shit about Downing Street. Oh, look at Biden. I want to join the ban on assault weapons, bro. How did they kill the shooter in the first place? You want to ban assault weapons, but how do you think they killed the shooter? Shut up, man. Shut up. Um, Trump campaign bars staff from speaking. Good. Biden campaign pausing comms and ads. Misleading false claims spread online quickly. Blah, blah, blah. What's this happening? Anything new? Oh, shit. Donald Trump's statement, actually. A statement from him on X. I want to thank United States Secret Service and law enforcement for their rapid response of the shooting that took place in Butler, Pennsylvania. More importantly, I want to extend my condolences to the family of the one person at the rally who was killed and also to the family of the person that was badly injured. It is, incredibly, it is incredible that such an act can take place in our country. Nothing is known at this time about the shooter who is now dead. I was shot with a bullet that pierced the upper part of my right ear. I knew immediately that something was wrong in that heard a whizzing sound, shots, and immediately felt the bullet ripping through my skin. Much bleeding took place, so I realized then what was happening. God bless America. Yo. 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 Yeah, big up Tetris. I don't know, man. Yo, big up Assad. Appreciate you, bro. I want everyone to understand this yep. man has yep. now been cemented in American history. Trump going up. New press of USA, regardless exactly. of how I feel. Unfor unfortunately, man, even if Tetris is what he's saying is true, big up Tetris effect. Tetris, Tetris effect. I still think this is fake for the cameras, even if that's true. Because part of me is like, this seems too convenient, isn't it? This seems too convenient. But unfortunately, what Assad is saying is actually true. Trump is cemented. Trump is cemented in history now. Cemented. Genuinely cemented. This all but guarantees he wins the presidential race. All but guarantees he wins that election. He was already guaranteed to win it anyway because of how comprom not comprom because of how, you know, the condition that Biden's currently in, unfortunately. Um, he probably should have never been running in the first place. But, you know, it is what it is. But yeah. Damn. Damn. Um, what's happening? No more updates there. That's it. No more updates on there. Um, let's actually check. I'm actually curious to see what's happening on Public Freaker. Maybe there's like more little clips I can play here. Bear me one second as I try to get the Public Freaker clips on here. See 
Anything else is going on? Um, best interview after the shooting. Let's see what happens here. Bear with me a second as I get this to load up. The election is a long way off, and I wouldn't hold your breath betting on Trump. Nah, but th that's the thing, though. Um, as of um, as of Andy, much like the UK elections, it's not really to do with. It's not nothing to do with Trump, really. It's mostly to do with how badly Biden's been looking, I think, from what I could see. Kind of same thing happened in the UK. The Tories did so badly. The Tories were so corrupt. The Tories were so corrupt. The Tories run this country into the ground that it didn't really matter who the opposition was. Um, Keir Starmer, a lot of people don't really rate him, don't really think much of him. Labour as a party has kind of fallen by the wayside. They're not really a valid opposition, really. They haven't really given us um, UK people much of an option in terms of going for them in the first place. They haven't really let, let you know, led with any cogent, um, clear um, policies that we could all kind of get behind. It's all a bit like wishy-washy. But because the Tories are so bad, it didn't really matter. As long as a person who's the opposition had a heartbeat, it was fine. So I think with this Trump thing, and already his fans are crazy for him. You can't tell his fans anything anyway. He's got a group of people who are legit sycophants for him anyway. Now that this has happened, this is just going to embolden them any, every, even more. We used to call QAnon and Trump people wild, right? Because they would make up conspiracy theories about, you know, these political assassinations and plots to get him and stuff. And look what happened. They put it right in their lap. Do you know what I mean? That's the annoying thing about this whole thing. You want to beat someone like that with, you know, by, what, what's that being called? Um, by putting him in the limelight. Right? By exposing him to sunlight, sorry. Going policy for policy. Right? But now, you've kind of given him the perfect storyline to continue voting for this guy. And now those conspiracy theories have been cemented, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Uh, you're wrong. You're 1,000% wrong. Completely different elections. This is personality cult. MAGA, everyone else. Today changes nothing outside of the cult. But yeah, I I, I hope you're right, but the reality is, judging from the reaction I've seen online, a lot of people are genuinely, genuinely, genuinely um, shifting their allegiances in real time. A lot of people are also lying because they were always going to vote for Trump anyway. They're just scared of saying it. Now it's a great moment to kind of suddenly stand up and, and profess your love for Trump because it's safe and it's a perfect time to do so. But I think this is going to have, unfortunately, the... Um, the wrong consequence or the wrong you know result for people who don't want trump to be in power unfortunately it's the reality of the thing we might not want it to happen but unfortunately this is a great layup let's be fair this is a great layup man especially that photo opportunity that photograph opportunity that he took was insane 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 so let's see hope you're wrong i hope you're wrong for your sake if you are over there otio and everybody else who's not a fan of trump i hope you guys are right but judging by how poorly biden's been doing let's see you never know you never know you, you don't count your chickens until they're hatched i do agree with that azov so maybe um let's see who's this guy this bbc interview with a guy outside a security perimeter who claims he saw the shooter before he fired is absolutely wild uh, someone who was here you weren't inside the event nope. but you were just outside tell us what yes or um, so so we had a party here all day if you, uh, you can see behind us the brinkles farming greenhouse here we had a party um and we all decided hey you know when, when we hear Trump up there, we're going to walk up through the field, stand by the trees up there under the shade, yeah. and watch the, and listen to the rally. Right? We couldn't see him, but we could hear him. So we walked up, and probably five to seven minutes of Trump speaking. I'm estimating here. I have no idea, you know. But um, we noticed the guy crawling, arm, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building besides 50, 50 feet away from us oh my so god we're standing there, you know we're pointing we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof and he had a gun right he had a rifle a we could clearly see him wow absolutely um we're pointing at him the police are down there running around on the ground we're like hey man there's a guy on the roof with a rifle and the police were like huh what you know like like they didn't know what was going on you know we're like hey right here on the roof we can see him from right here we see him you know, he's, he's crawling. And next thing you know, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why is Trump still speaking? Why have they not pulled him off the stage? I'm standing there pointing at him for, you know, two or three minutes. Secret Service is looking at us from the top of the barn. I'm pointing at that roof, just standing there like this. 
and next thing you know, five shots ring out. So your your son. I don't know, man. This guy sounds like he's full of shit. What do you think of the stream chat? What do you? He saw some guy climb up on the thing, and the police just like like he alerted the police and they didn't. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think he's talking out of his ass. <laughs> I think this is a troll or a lie. He saw the guy bear crawling up the roof, positioning himself to shoot Trump, alerted the police, and they didn't. Hmm. I'm not too sure on that one. X for doubt. X for doubt with this guy. But the shots came from that guy on the roof. hundred percent. Hundred percent. And he he was up there for a couple of minutes. He was up you there. Him up there for a couple of minutes. Absolutely. At least three to four were, minutes. And you were telling yep. the police from the secret service. We were telling the police. We were pointing at him from the secret service who were looking at us from the top of the barn. They were looking at us the whole time when we were standing by that truck. By the way, let me know in the stream chat. Are the Pennsylvania police force really that bad? Let me know in the stream chat. Are the, pe are the Pennsylvania police force that bad that they would like still be eating their sandwiches and eating their donuts as they see a fucking assassin potentially crawling up of the, of the roof in line sight of Trump to shoot him? Is that true? What do you guys think? Is that possible? Could they see Binoculars? Could they see him? Probably not because the roof, the way the, the slope went, he was behind where they could see. But, but why is there not Secret Service on all of these roofs here? I mean, this is not a big place. Did you see, I mean, obviously everyone, when the shooting started, everyone was very panicked. Did, oh, you, did you see what happened to him at all? Oh yeah, they blew his head off. Okay, sorry. Secret Service blew his head off. Okay, just be careful because well, we don't quite know who's watching, but you, you're pretty sure that- why, why be careful? What, what's, what's offensive about saying blew his head off? <laughs> the BBC presented, um, be be careful about who's watching. What what's what's this? What's offensive about saying they blew his head off? They did. <laughs> they, they they shot the guy. Absolutely, hundred okay. percent. Okay. Yep. You, you saw that happen. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. And did you see them go up to him afterwards, or they? Yeah, they trod up on the roof. They had their guns pointed at him, make sure he was dead. He was dead, and that was it. It was over. It's incredibly shocking. The guy was on the roof, right there. You can see the white roof. Right there. Did you get a look at him? Could you Cameraman! No, I Point think... to the roof, man. Yo, big up uh I think that's high def. I don't think it's gonna say it because you use some dicey words. High def ten. Do you seriously want Biden to win? What about the rape murders from illegals? Fentanyl deaths, inflation. Me. I don't I don't I don't I don't give a fuck. American politics is none of my business. I'm just commentating from afar about this shooting. I have no dog in any race. I stick to what I know, and what I know is UK, England v Spain tomorrow. Let's go. It's coming home. But I'm hoping for the best for you guys. What do you guys think? I have no opinion on American politics whatsoever. It's none of my business, bro. We've got enough issues to worry about over here. Enough <laughs> issues to worry about over here. I tell you, I'm just commenting on what I'm seeing because this is obviously an international event. And he was in... Muted colors, tan type clothing. We saw the rifle flinging around as he was trying to crawl. I mean, we saw Ooh, a little beer in hand there. Eh? I mean, do you know about guns? Do you know what kind of weapon it was? Oh, I absolutely know about guns for sure. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's a, it was a rifle of some sort. I wouldn't know, you know, I wasn't close enough to read the label on it. No, but sure. but it, was a, it was a rifle of some sort. Read the label. Yeah, absolutely. So, what do you, how do you process this? What do you read see? the label. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say, man. I'll tell you is, you know, if I if I walked up close to there with anything that can, Secret Service considered a, a, a problem, I wouldn't be standing here talking to you right now. But I don't know why a guy who we're standing there pointing out to police and Secret Service is crawling up the roof. Yes, right there by that tree. We were outside the security perimeter. But my question is, there's only a few buildings around here. Why is Secret Service not on every building here? Well, there's a whole bunch of questions, I think, that are going to come. There's a whole there's bunch of questions. Yeah. yeah. Yes, she was right in front of me. She kept going back and forth right in front of me. Yes. If this, if what this guy's saying is true, there's going to be a lot of people's heads are going to roll. If legitimately he alerted the police to the guy climbing up on the roof, and somehow, allegedly, the guy was on one of these roofs that looks white. 
So that which is insane. Allegedly, some guy was climbing up of a roof that looked like this. Probably easy to spot from afar with your naked eye. And nobody tried to get Trump off the stage. Nobody alerted anybody else. To, like, that's insane. Then he got, on, got onto the roof, readied himself, positioned and then shot. That also might explain why he missed though. That might explain why he did miss. Maybe he was worried and rattled and he saw people recognizing or seeing him or noticing him and he rushed a shot. What Coyle said is right. So maybe the wind obviously affected the bullet, but maybe he rushed a shot, which is probably why he missed by inches. Or this guy could be full of shit and none of this happened. <laughs> and he just got a couple too many drinks in him. <laughs> you know, he is quite red, but he's also a ginger. So that might be the case. I don't know. Is he red because of the booze? Is he red because of his hair? Is he sunburned? What's happening right now? I don't know. But if this guy, what he's saying is right. Wow, man. So many mistakes. So many oversights. So many people were not on their jobs, which is pretty crazy to think. You would think if a former president comes to town, whoever's in that vicinity, you know, they lock it down. They lock down the area. Everybody's on point. Everybody's looking, you know, just for that, the time they're there. It's not, you don't have to do it for the whole day, but just the time that they're present. <clears throat> But if this what if this what if this guy what he's saying is true, wow man, wow wow wow. The Pennsylvania police force in that particular area are pretty terrible at their jobs. If they just let the guy crawl up to the roof. Tell us about that. I mean, nice horse, nice lady running with a flag. It seemed very, you know, patriotic. But what what's what's the significance of that? No, she just he asked me if I saw a horse. Okay, okay. All right. Well, listen, I'm sorry. Okay, cool. I don't know what the case is. I don't know if this is true. I don't know if it's right. This is hot off the press. I'm reading this right now to you in real time. So take it with a pinch of salt if you may. Maybe more reports will come out and they will say that this guy is full of shit. I don't know. Um, but wow, what crazy development that people saw this guy crawling up on the roof and nobody said anything. Oh, there's there's actually a video of the dead assassin actually. Thanks, see my I'm not going to show it. Hopefully, it's not going to be crazy. Let me see if I, I'm, I'm going to play it on my end, but I'm not going to show it. But let me see if there's anything red it. Oh, shit. Yeah, there's that person. God damn. So, allegedly, that's the assassin on top of the roof. It's this curse of the public freakout subreddit. That allegedly is the person on the roof. <laughs> Big up Seth11. I think his name is Lee Harvey Oswald. Hilarious. Big up Young Old Vibes. Wild one, wild one, wild one, wild one, wild one. God damn, that's allegedly the person on the roof there. Allegedly. Allegedly. Let's go back to my <laughs> Don't say that, Stephen Castaneda. <laughs> AZ, MSNBC, nah, nah. Don't give me that. <laughs> I'm just reading Reddit and social media. I'm nobody. It was Yuri. Big up, it was Yuri. Why people say NJ Ranger? What is NJ Ranger? Uh, uh, is he a ginger? Is that why you're saying that? Are we are we saying he's a ginger? <laughs> you guys are stupid. We can see the guy down. Let's, let's go back to the top. I, I think they hit him because the guy is he looks dead. Wow. If that's that's might be that might be him, you know. What that guy was saying is true. That might be actually the guy, the assassin. He might be right what that ginger said. What that ginger guy said might be right because look, that building isn't even that high. So they noticed him. They could see him climbing up the roof. They alerted the police and nobody made an effort to stop him before he got his shots off. But maybe that's why they also shot him quickly because they then took it seriously. Like God almighty, man, police, Jesus Christ. But I bet you if he was black and he had dreadlocks on, huh? I bet you if he was black wearing a Miri jeans with dreadlocks on and he had a flipping gun in his hand, they would have blew him up with a grenade. Huh? Would have blew him up with a grenade. Fucking hell. They let that white guy go up there and just like sunbabe on the roof while the president is fucking giving a speech a couple feet away. Come on, man. That's that real white privilege, isn't it? <laughs> you get to just sunbabe on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god uh what else is saying here we've got another clip that says after the shooting trump appears to say let me get my shoes let's let me let's let's hear that allegedly trump says let me get my shoes 
Let's hear this. Let me get my shoes. What do you say here? Let me get my shoes, sir. Hold that in your head, buddy. So we gotta move to the bus. Let me get my shoes. Okay, I'm sure you're going. Watch out. Wait, 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 wait. Real sneakerhead shit. <laughs> exactly, Kifty. Oh, Kifty, I didn't see your comment. I swear to God, Kifty, I didn't see your comment when I said real sneakerhead shit. I didn't see your comment. I just saw it now. He's not leaving his J's behind. <laughs> Those Trump Jordans, those Trump Jordans, those horrendous, those gaudy, those disgusting, those diabolical trash ass, trash ass Jordans that he made. He's not leaving those behind, man. A real sneakerhead never leaves their shoes behind. Buildings on fire, fire drills. We take those boxes out. We run out with them, bro. A real sneakerhead never leaves their shit behind. Ever, ever, ever. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm talking shit, Roman Shepard. I'm talking shit. I have no idea. I have no idea if Trump was wearing the gold sneakers. I'm not spreading misinformation. I'm talking shit. I'm an innocent bystander. I'm an immigrant. I'm a foreigner. I know nothing. Please, Secret Service, don't come after me. I'm just talking out my ass and having fun. I know nothing. I know nothing. I know nothing. I know nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Big up a cheer. They dubbed that shit. LOL. He said cheeseburgers. <laughs> He said, <laughs> the DoorDash guy is downstairs. The DoorDash guy is downstairs. Please, someone go pick up my delivery. <laughs> please. <laughs> he just tried to call me now. DoorDash guy just tried to call me. Someone go pick up my stuff, please. <laughs> I want to test out the new Galaxy McFlurry. <laughs> He was worried. <laughs> get my shoes, get my shoes. I've got to go downstairs and collect the McDonald's. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sweating. I swear to God. <laughs> oh. oh, Jesus Christ. Um, Let's see. Another angle of the shooting here, allegedly. Oh, no. Same angle we saw already. Neutralized. Let's move on. Let me see what else I can find for you guys before we move on. Please bear with me. Please bear with me. Please bear with me. Oh, there's a video of some girl that was twerking on a fence and she got electrocuted. I'm not playing that. I am not playing that. But I'm sure some of you guys have seen that video. There's a video of a girl who's twerking on a fence and she gets electrocuted. You don't want to see it. I guarantee you don't want to see it. Um, Dead assassin. Cool. No other details so far. I can't see anything else. I think that's it at the moment. Let's go over to BBC and see what BBC is saying. Let's see what the fucking corrupt, morally bankrupt BBC are saying about this whole event. Let's quickly jump on. What's BBC saying? That he, he felt that bullet go through his ear. He did. And that's, you know, that's something as I was texting with sources today, you know, it's always unfolding. You never know exactly until the FBI gets in there what exactly happened. There were concerns at one point it could have been glass, it could have hit one of the teleprompters, and that could have been what hit him. He himself says he was hit by a bullet. And, you know, we'll, we'll see what the, what the specifics of that were as, <laughs> as this comes out in the next few days. All right, Christina Ruffini, former White House mm -hmm. correspondent. Uh, why is that even important? Like, why are they, like, trying to, like... <laughs> are they trying to say he's, like, he's, he's going to try and take credit? He's going to try and make it seem like a shooting when it wasn't a shooting? When it was like shrapnel, oh, come on, bro. Someone tried to take his head off. Someone tried to get. Someone tried to give him a fucking. What do you think, was? Someone tried to rock his snot box, as Hassan Campbell would say. Big up Hassan Campbell. Someone tried to rock fucking Trump's snot box. He's allowed to say he got shot at. Come on, come on, man. Glass shrapnel, all this shit. Come on. Uh, here with me in the studio. I just want to play for you now, and this is a statement that was, was given to Gary O'Donoghue, our senior North America correspondent, who was there on the ground. And this is a, a course, a, a witness spit it out, telling spit it out, Gary spit it out. the moment that he believes the Secret Service took down the alleged shooter. So, so... Ah, okay, okay, same, day, same, interview, same interview, same interview. We already see this. 
we already seen this. We do, we don't we don't need to see that again. So cool. Let's go for the live report. Ivanka Trump thanks law enforcement. Trump's daughter Ivanka Trump has said thank you for your love and your prayers for my father and for the victims of today's senseless violence in Butler, Pennsylvania. I'm grateful to Secret Service and all the other law enforcement officers for their quick and decisive actions today. I continue to pray for our country. I love you, Dad, today and always. She's going to probably suck him off when she gets back home. Understandable. Attack a killed person in... Attack a killed a person in the audience. Man, that's so fucking sad. The Secret Service issued a statement saying the attacker fired multiple rounds towards the stage from an elevated position outside the rally venue. They killed one person in the audience and two others are critically injured. Man, statement during the former president's speech um, in Pennsylvania on the evening of 3rd of July, approximately 6.15, a suspected shooter fired multiple shots towards the stage from an elevated position. The Secret Service personnel neutralized the shooter who is now deceased. The U.S. Secret Service quickly responded to protective measures and former children traveling to safe. One spectator was killed and two spectators are critically injured. Prayers to the two people critically injured and RIP to the one who passed away, man. Imagine, oh, yeah, God damn it. Imagine dying at a political rally, especially in the Western world. Imagine. But yeah, look at that picture, bro. Look at that picture. That's that's a history of reality TV there, isn't it? All those years spent on reality TV, all those years spent trying to be famous has brought him to a place where he's always on. He's always on. So in that moment when most people will be cowering, crying, running, this guy's worried about putting his shoes on and lifting his hand up in the air to take advantage of the moment, which is kind of distasteful in itself. <laughs> It's kind of distasteful, you know. It's not. It's not great that he's using the moment like this. To be fair, it's kind of distasteful, but it's kind of badass too. Let's not lie. It's distasteful, but it's kind of badass because I would have fainted if I saw blood. I'm fainting. I'm going to sleep. I'm self sleeping. You know what I mean? R.I.P. Me. I'm. I'm fainting from the blood. You know. I'm gone. The fact that this guy gets up and. Is wild, 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 wild. There's a guy that probably is that fake hair he's got on his hat. Is that hat got like connected, or is that just his red hair as well? It looks like one of those hats that you buy that's got like the hair, the, the hair on top of it. Um, what else we're saying here? Witness described Trump in great spirits. We couldn't believe what was happening. Look at this guy, <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was in his hyperbolic chamber. <laughs> they had to wake him up. <laughs> Shock and awe <laughs> to get him to make a statement. <laughs> oh, big up Joe man. Big up Joe Biden 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 man. Hang in there, brother. Hang in there. The finishing line is approaching. Hang in there. Uh I a sound like firecrackers. A group of witnesses told the BBC News that the noise sounded like firecrackers at first. We could see the smoke off the ground, but they kept coming too, um, so we all hit the ground. They recounted how everyone around them ducked, but some started running after the noises. It was just so surreal. I've never heard something, anything like that in my life. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Fire, Jesus Christ, bro. You think of someone doing firecrackers and shit, and actually, it's the Trump getting fucking shot at. Wild scenes. Wild scenes, people. Wild blood clot scenes. <laughs> Big up Uche. His mum made him that hat out of her pubes. Yeah, I could I could see that happening. I could fucking see that happening. But yeah, what a crazy state of affairs. What crazy bit of news to come back home from after being outside, eating a fucking double cheeseburger, chilling on a bench somewhere, listening to music, and then you come back in and you hear, hey, did you hear? Someone nearly took Trump's head off him from his shoulders. Like, what? Sorry? Excuse me? Pardon? What? God damn it, bro. Yeah. Absolutely crazy. And now everyone's trying to go in on him. Oh, shit. Is there a bullet here? What? Wow. Look at this. What's that called? What's that place called? Let me see this one. What's that website? Spec. Let's, let's, let's see what this is. Let me see. Let me show you this on X. So you can see where I go. I'm just seeing this on my phone. This is fucking crazy. Spec. What's that thing? Spec. T 
Tator Index. Look at this picture. Look at this picture, brothers and sisters. Look at this picture. Look at this picture. This is pretty fucking wild. From the Spectator Index. Let's scroll down and see. But this is a pretty wild picture that I want to show you guys. Bear with me a second. As all my shit fucking loads. Oh, big up Rodolfo Duran. AZ, can you give Trump the N-word pass? He has his own shoes and now he survived getting shot up by the ops. <laughs> That's hilarious. I don't have to give him the pass. There's plenty of fucking uh, black people in America that are in love with Trump. I'm sure they're going to give him a pass. I'm sure all those rappers that love Trump, the Chef G's, the Kodak Blacks, um, the Boosies, right? Um, Amber Rose. I'm sure they're going to be celebrating this because they all love Trump. So I'm sure he's got enough fans in the States. He doesn't, he doesn't need me for an N-word party. You know what I mean? He doesn't need me. But look at this post. Look at this photo, sorry. Photo by New York Times photographer Doug Mills shows a bullet flying just behind Trump's head. Let's get the actual picture to show you. Look at this picture, bro. Look at this. There's Trump talking and you can see him grimacing. Look at the grimace on his face. That's when he notices the pain. And look at that. Look at the bullet. Alleged, that's allegedly the bullet flying by his ear. Wow. That is wild, bro. That would have gone straight through his face. Shit. But yeah, Trump as well, brother, man. Like, these guys must, like, you don't really, you don't really hear of these things happening nowadays, especially in the Western world. Imagine how much you have to be hated for somebody to, to to climb up a white roof in combats and stuff to try and shoot you. Imagine how much people must not like you to do this. God damn it, bro. That is crazy. But yeah, look, look at the grimace. He's literally grimacing like... He, I mean... God damn. Let's go back to Spectator Index one more time. Uh, let's see what else they've been saying here. I'm curious to see. Bada bing, bada boom. Apple CEO made a comment as well. Everyone's going to be releasing st statements, isn't it? Everyone's going to be releasing statements. What the fuck's the Apple CEO got to do with anything? Apple CEO's going to be talking about it too. Oh, let's see. Oh, I want to see this. I want to see this. Please, I want to see this. What did, what, what did, <laughs> let's, let's go to drama alert. Because we need to hear what the people on drama alert have to say about this as well. Let's see what drama alert people have to say about this, please. Um, what are you saying here? Yeah, Half the blame lies in the media, man, says Kyle K20. You think so, Kyle K20? You think it's the media that make Trump to be unlikable? Or do you think it's him? The things that he says and the stuff that he's done in the past. Do you think it's him? Or do you think it's the media painting him out to be the worst person in the world ever? I think it's a bit of both, to be fair. You know, a bit of both. He doesn't help things, you know. Even the fist in the air thing, like, straight after being shot, like, you know. Uh, you can't tell anybody how to react, but you know what that's going to do, isn't it? It's going to put people to bigger teams. Um, Let me scroll down here. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Let me scroll down. I think I saw a post from, is it um, Hassan? Some of you guys in the stream chat love Hassan, so I think Hassan Abi said something very stupid. Oh, what is it saying? Um, a bulletproof vest. Okay. What's that? You see that? Donald Trump may have taken a shot to the bulletproof vest. It is not entirely clear, though, and could possibly be a button or another object. Hmm. Huh. Okay, maybe. Don't know about that yet. Let's continue on. Elon Musk, said the Elon Musk says there have been two attempts to kill him in the past eight months. <laughs> Elon and fucking Nancy Pelosi making finding out a way to make the Trump assassination attempted assassination all about themselves. All right, cool. I guess. What do you want us to do with that information, Bray? Uh, where's um? There's a there's a clip here I can see. Of oh, there we go. What did uh? What did Hassan Arbi have to say about this? What did Hassan Blood Clark Arbi have to say about this? Let's hear Hassan Arbi's intelligent take on this situation. What did he say? As well, as you saw the... He's US clip farming harder than the new crop of FaZe talent. He's like FaZe Ronaldo. 
He's clip farming harder than Jinxie. He keeps throwing up his fucking fist. We've been in many of these Trump rallies. And it's here's over. One of our colleagues there on the ground, the photojournalists who are in the front row showing the as He's well. saying it's clip farming. Eh, he, he could have said a worse thing. It's a bit of a brain dead take, but you know, it is what it is. It could have been worse. Um, oh, there's a, there's a speck of where he was at. Allegedly. Okay, there's a shooter. Let's not get that on camera, please. I don't want to get in trouble. Let's pause that. Ah, pause. Uh, Donald Trump's shooter was on the adjacent building approximately 400 feet away. Come on, man. So, yeah, that guy was telling the truth, people. The guy was saying the truth. Didn't he say he was here in the parking lot area and they could see the person climbing on the roof? And they told the guys and they wouldn't respond. So he was telling the truth. Yeah, the Pennsylvania police, people are going to roll. Heads will roll. People, a lot of people are going to get fired off the back of this, which is a good thing, to be honest, because, you know, all you got to do is fucking make sure no one's got a, <laughs> a plain line of sight, a clear line of sight, sorry, to shoot the president. It's not that difficult, bro. And there ain't that many buildings elevated that position to shoot from. Actually, he could have, yeah, there's not, you know what I mean? There's not even many places. And they still managed to get on the white roof wearing cargo pants and stuff. Wild, bro. Wild. Cool. What can you do? What can you do? What can you do? What can you do? What can you do?